At your Naval 2024 in Paris, French shipbuilder Naval Group unveils the new Black Sword Barracuda conventional submarine. To find out more about it, I am meeting with uh, Thierry Petit, Sales and Marketing Director for Submarines. Thierry, good afternoon. Thanks for welcoming me. Good afternoon, Xavier. It's a pleasure to welcome you on uh, Naval Group Boots. Thank you. So, new submarine. What can you tell us about the well, Black Sword Barracuda? So we are very pleased to present uh, this Black Sword Barracuda. We are expanding the Barracuda family. So very stealth and resi resilient submarines prepare for more and more demanding uh, operations. Uh, we have this family of submarines uh, prepared for the future. The first uh, Barracuda, as you know, is a nuclear Barracuda for the French Navy, operate for, for a long time in very challenging environment. In the French Navy, we've got two submarines commissioned since 2022, 2024. The third one is doing the sea trials and we will deliver three more submarines before the end of the decades. Then we've got the conventional Barracuda, which has been chosen by a first rank uh, Navy in NATO, which is the Netherlands. So they choose the Black Sword Barracuda as the future submarine to replace the Valorous class and to have an expeditionary submarine. This is very important. What are some of the key differences with this new product compared to the well, nuclear-powered in-service uh, Suffren class SSN Barracuda? So the main difference, of course, is the nuclear plant and the uh, solution of energy. After that, it's nearly the same submarine. If you take the first part, and this is the main point of the, the Bl Black Sword Barracuda, this is the acoustic vulnerability, invulnerability, to be very silent, to be very uh, discreet. You see, it's quite the same shape than the Suffren class. The albacore shape holds in full integration of the sonars, the flank array, and so on. We take all the technology from the SSNs, but also from the SSBN, to have a very silent submarines. Second point uh, is the combat system. The sonar suite will be quite the same one as the French uh, one. Optronics, electronics, uh, radars, and so on. We've got the same systems or improved systems on board uh, this uh, conventional barracuda. And everything is mixed with the same combat system, so we will have a common submarine. What is quite different is the energy solution. We still have a very silent uh, uh, electric motors, very uh, silent propulsion, but we switch to the lithium-ion battery, which is a new solution. Lithium-ion batteries offer us a uh, new technology capacity to uh, keep more tactical mobility, to have more tactical mobility with the submarines. What is important with the submarines, it's not to operate at very low speed. This is uh, for old submarines. What we want tactical mobility is for a submarine to be able to increase speed in the horizontal or the vertical uh, sides, to go quickly at periscopic depths, to hunt or to chase quickly uh, an interesting track. This is important. And for that, you need a full package of energy and the lithium ion is offering this system. Thierry, is this a baseline configuration which then can be customized to the needs of the customers? Of course, the, we will be very happy to welcome other navies in the Barracuda family. The submarine has been customized for uh, the Netherlands and it will evolve depending on the, na the navy operational requirements. Nowadays, you've got an expeditionary submarine able to operate in the Atlantic Sea, in the Mediterranean, to the Antilla, in the Indian Ocean, but it can also be uh, adapted to operate in more wa uh, warm waters or cold waters like the polar uh, areas, for example. Thierry, the uh, Suffren class SSN, uh, they are fitted with uh, dive bars in the bow of the submarine. The Black Sword Barracuda is showing uh, fair weather planes, I guess that's how it's called in English. Why is this change in uh, configuration? So, in fact, this is one of the physical differences between the two submarines. 
because they are not operating at the same speed, tactical speed. And a nuclear submarine is going a bit quicker, so they can retract these hydroplanes uh, in the fore part of the submarine, while a conventional submarine is going a bit more slowly or doing more uh, ISR or Special Operation Forces missions, so at very low speed, and they have to keep these hydroplanes on the fleet. Is there anything else you'd like to add about the, the new Black Swan Barracuda? Yes, I will speak about the last a very important uh, characteristic is the, um, the firepower of the system. One of the conventional with the most, uh, the bigger number of uh, weapons. You can have 30 weapons on board uh, the, the submarine. It could be torpedoes, missiles, mines, and nowadays we are speaking about weapons. Tomorrow, of course, we'll speak about drones, the ability to launch you. UVs or UAVs drones from the submarines. The, the number of uh, weapons is important. The time to re reload the tubes is very important. And the ability to operate all the weapons from the control room is very important. So there is an unrivaled firepower on board this kind of submarine. Thierry, thank you very much. You're welcome, uh, Xavier. Have a good uh, week in uh, Euronavap.